All right, let's cut to the chase. In this video, I want to talk about Bottom Tree Dawnblade, aka the new meta, 2021. That's weird to say, Bottom Tree Dawn meta. Anyway, so this is an S tier super slash class, whatever you want to call it, going into Season of the Lost, up until Witch Queen, until they maybe do something, or maybe in the 30th anniversary, which is bare minimum December. Why is this OP? Well, let's start with what the class does. In case you didn't know, basically, Bottom Tree Dawn is TNT the game. What I mean by that is, if you get a super kill, solar kill, grenade, any grenade actually, not just solar grenades, or a powered melee kill, whatever you kill, then goes boom, and then if anything's near that boom, they also go boom. In other words, it just nukes everything. Now, the reason I bring that up is because... Well, first of all, just making things go boom is actually pretty fun. But also, for whatever reason, Bottom Tree Dawn counts as all melee abilities, no matter what you do. Your grenade kills, melee abilities. Your super kills, melee abilities. Your melee abilities, jelly donuts. I'm just kidding. Also melee abilities. So, why does that matter? Well, there's some exotics you kind of abuse that with in the game currently. You may have heard of it, maybe not. Let's start off with Necrotic Grips. So essentially, what this exotic does is, when you get kills, you then have an AoE of poison, kind of like the thorn effect, surrounding your enemies and, well, poisoning them, doing AoE damage. Now, this is handy because, as I mentioned, Dawnblade abilities count all as melees for some reason, so meaning, you get one kill with any of your abilities, suddenly, everything is exploding and getting poisoned at the same time, and it's just a gigantic chain reaction of everything dying you could probably imagine how that, that's good you're gonna see that I'm gonna put a clip in here to show you an example but yeah it's pretty good pretty good I wouldn't exactly pick necrotic grips for a GM but pretty good now let's uh, back it a little bit here to uh, fell winter's helm fell winters in case people didn't know powered melee final blows as you can see create a burst of energy that weakens nearby targets this is helpful because well if you're doing uh, something that has a lot of enemy density like a GM again then you can kill a trash mob near a champion and thus then debuffing the champion and making it weaker and easier to kill. That could come in handy, even maybe by a boss that has some trash mobs around it. it this does, this has more utility, I would say, than the Crowder Gifts. Don't get me wrong, the Crowder Gifts is hella fun, but uh, Fell Winter has more utility, I'd say, in the end game. But again, this, both of them go under the assumption that Bungie intended Dawnblade to work like this and everything is supposed to count as a melee burn I mean, I hope so, but I doubt it. You know what I mean? So both of these exotics are nice with the way things work now But there is a third one and this one is the one I use personally Dawn Chorus. So Essentially if Bungie does patch the whole melee everything rainbow Dawn Chorus will still work as is and will still be really good your Daybreak projectiles cause targets to burn on contact and deal more damage to them. All your burn effects last longer and you gain a small amount of melee energy each time one of your burns damages target. Really good already. Combine that with Bottom Tree Dawn Extended Super. It is very nice. And even under the current melee circumstances, it's even better. It's pretty nutty. Now, we don't stop there. Then we have a little mod build going on. So Power Preservation is a new mod you may have not uh, gotten yet. It says, your super final bullets create extra orbs of power for your allies. Why does that matter? Well, to give you the, uh, the short story, I'll show you the clip, but uh, with these mods, you can kind of make 20 plus orbs with one single super. One super! <laughs> That's kind of nutty, don't you think? So, before I show you the clip, let me go over the other mods. You have Elemental Light, defeating Commandant with your super, spawns an Elemental Well that matches your subclass energy. That's going to matter because I have other mods that set up me regenerating super energy. So you have Font of Wisdom, picking a minimal wall that matches your subclass energy. It temporarily significantly increases your intellect, improving your recharge rate of your super. Super, duh. And then defeating a combatant with solar or stasis melee creates an orb of power through thermoclastic blooming. Why does that matter? I just told you why. Because we're going to make 8 billion orbs to just siphon for your teammates and get back yourself. Oh. Did I mention uh, your own Dombly kills will get orbs to spawn on the ground because they will be counting through this mod? So not only will you make 800 orbs, but then you'll make another 800 orbs for yourself to pick up after you've done murdering everything. 
Now, then we've got nothing special here. High energy fire taking charge. And then we go down to here. We have elemental armaments, weapon takedowns with the same damage type. Matches that your subclass element have an explained chance to swan and elemental well. So in my case, Dawnblade and then Tyranny of Heaven because this week's Nightfall is Hollowed Lair, which has overloads. So I use a bow. So a solar bow, it just that much more increase of recharging my super faster. So essentially, in conclusion, everything is gonna effing explode and I love it. I would highly recommend you try this out. This is usable in GMs, Master Raids, any raids really, dungeons, anything you can think of until Bungie says something or nerfs something. This is meta. Warlocks, this is this is the new meta, literally. Some cases you might want to run well, just like those very specific encounters like Exodus Crash, the boss room is one for well. But outside of that, damn, this Dawnblade build is so effing good. So here are the clips, just to point out again, the Hollowed Lair is a GM, not a master. So these are GM level enemies and they are getting absolutely squashed by this super. And then I'll show you Necrotic Grips in action, just normal strike. All right, so here you go. Enjoy, and uh, you know, if you like this video, or uh, if you, this build is insane and you love it, be sure to leave a like and subscribe and leave a comment. Notification bell, why am I talking like this? I don't know. All right, I'll catch you guys next time. All right, so here we are in the Disgrace Strike, the Homan native. You're going to see a bunch of Fallen come out of this door, and then I'm going to hit him with Necrotic Grips, and well... As you can see, that's kind of busted.